Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these health-wise uh, meals. It's a microwavable meal. It is the turkey chili with beans. Looks pretty decent. It is 8 ounces or 227 grams. Um, we bought these at Walmart online for $5.89. They are not frozen, I mean frozen or refrigerated. They're just a shelf-stable meal. Uh, we bought them online only. I've never seen these in the store, any store, honestly, but, but they do sell them on um, Walmart.com. Um, so it's 200 calories for the entire meal. There's your other information for you. So you could heat it in the stovetop, which basically just involves putting it in a saucepan and heating it up. So we're not going to do that, of course. Uh, we're going to do it in the microwave. So peel back lid to vent, uh, microwave to high for one minute, rotate a quarter turn, and then another uh, 30 seconds to one minute and until desired temperature is reached. Let it sit for 30 seconds, remove, uh, carefully peel off the lid and serve. So I'll probably do a minute and then a half, which is typical of most of these shelf stable meals is a 90 second. They're usually 90 second meals, so that makes sense. Oh, had to pull that on the other side. I oh, well. uh, really can't see much to it. Peel back the corner of the vent. Um, see how liquidy that is? I will probably put this on a paper, oop, push out some of the air just now. Um, I'll probably put it on a paper towel or paper plate just so if it boils over, it won't get all over the microwave, but I'll clean that up. So I'll be right back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. It did run over just a little bit on the side. Not, not bad, not as bad as I thought it would. I'm gonna stir it up really good. That's what it looked like just with the lid removed. I hadn't stirred it or moved it or anything. It smells okay. It smells very uh, tomato-y. So I have a feeling this chili is gonna be a, a really tomato saucy kind of flavor. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna let this uh, cool off for a minute and I'll be back. I gave it just a minute to cool off. So here's the bite. It's got beans and, and turkey meat in it. First of all, the beans are good and tender. They're not hard, which is a good thing because sometimes on these meals, the beans are kind of hard or tough. These are really good and tender. They're like really big pinto beans. Um, so I like the texture of those. The flavor is a little tomato saucy. Um, not quite like a spaghetti sauce, but it is um, more like a, just a t more tomato-y um, chili than you may be used to. The texture of the, the turkey, it's basically turkey um, burger, like turkey ground beef. Ground turkey. There we go. Um, it's a ground turkey. The texture overall is pretty good because, and I'll show you why. Let's see if I can get some of the sauce off. If you look at that, see how big the hunks are? Well, that one's a bean, but you see see the hunks of, of ground turkey? They're bigger. They're not really finely grained. Here's a good example right here. That's all ground turkey right there. And it's a, it's a bigger grain. Sometimes you tend to get... Um, ground turkey that's really, really fine. They've ground it too fine, like this, the teeny tiny little, almost sand-like pieces. Um, I would much rather have the texture of a bigger chunks of uh, um, ground turkey, ground beef, ground anything. Um, I'd rather have a little bit chunkier pieces. So this has got a good texture to it. As far as the chili part goes, it's a little light on the, the heat-wise. I like mine a little spicier. It's got a good chili powder kind of flavor, but um, it could use a little bump up in spice. Now, that being said, I know a lot of people don't like spicy food. This may, I mean, if you don't can't handle any spicy food at all, this may be borderline for you. I don't, I don't know. It counts on how much your level of spice. There's not really spice to me at all, but you may find the chili powder too much for you if you can't have any, any at all. It may bother your stomach. I don't know. Um, me personally, it needs a little dash of hot sauce or something put in here just to spice it up a bit. And that's probably what I'll do to eat it, finish eating it. Um, I'll probably just add a little bit of Frank's hot sauce in here uh, just to spice it up a bit. But it's good. Overall, it's pretty good. It's not bad by any means, but it's a typical um, canned, bagged, pre-made chili. It's it's the same thing. It's, it's the same flavors that you get in all of us. But I do like the texture and it's only 200 calories. I think it's definitely worth trying out. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 because it does need to be bumped up in that seasoning flavor again. But I do like the textures um, and the flavors are pretty decent. It just needs more spice. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.